Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. If you hear watery noises, there's not much I can do about that. It's raining rather profusely outside. Um, so this is going to be Gemini. So there we go. It's kind of okay. And uh, this is just um, reading. It's a little. What is it? I'm recording this on the 18th, I think. Um, I've been wanting to get to astrology readings in May for a few weeks now, but I've been busy, and because I'm still really busy, I'm only going to be doing a triptych door, because I wanted to get something out for the, for the signs, because I like to get something once every month, and I've been doing it a little bit before the full moon, but like I said, I've been busy, so... Um, if you purchase the Triptych Door reading or any other reading uh, in your private video, I'll be shuffling this stuff on camera. But for these ones, I've got everything sh cleared, shuffled, um, shuffled out of the decks and patched together, um, packed up and ready to go. And I just bent a piece of paper that I didn't want to bend over there. Um, so I've got these cards for the Triptych Door. I'm not going to get any... Um, backs of the decks for these right now. Um, I'm just going to go in and get the reading and we'll get something and then uh, maybe I'll be able to do them earlier next month and have a go at a different reading that's a little bit more involved. All right, So we're looking at the unification of opposites here. Um, we're coming off of that Scorpio full moon. We just had Jupiter move into Aries, and there's some other stuff going on um, that I don't remember off the top of my head right now. All right, so for Gemini, we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy, number fourteen, and we have the Three of Pentacles. Aries in Capricorn. Oh, I know what the other thing was. Pluto just went retrograde in Capricorn. Okay. Oh. Which is Scorpionic energy. This to me looks like we're either... I don't know why I want to say rebuilding. Probably because of the retrogrades. Um, it's like I'm stable and I'm able to start building up I'm able to start rebuilding. It's like, it's like um, the foundation has stopped shifting um, and now we can repair the cracks, basically. Um, let's see what the middle is here. The Six of Flames. Okay, this is the victory card. Something in Leo. Saturn in Leo. Traditionally, although I did reassign it Neptune, but I'm not going to worry about... Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Jupiter and Leo. The hell? Okay, so Sagittarian energy, Sagittarian energy, and then Aries energy. So the, to me, this is talking about if I would do it. And there's also um, Jupiter, yeah, Leo energy there. So all of the fire signs are represented. <sighs> I wish I hadn't screwed that up when I was talking. But anyway, this is normally the victory card. It's it's like, um, and I see these, like, it looks like a three, and then there's like three fiery looking things here. It It's like... The other times that I've been building up to something, it failed. But this time, the field is the playing field is more balanced, and I'm finally going to be able to start really carving into this. I, I want to say, for some reason, I want to say I'm carving into my destiny finally. Like this is the core of my being, and I'm finally getting there. This is a. 14, which breaks down to 5, which is a shift or a pivot, and then I have 3. So what I'm, I'm getting like 3, 5, 6, but I wanted to say that Temperance is 7, 
which would be half. That's weird. Like the number seven is sticking out to me because half of 14 is seven. But it, it, it seems like a progression. Right, I double three and move to six. Hold on, I got a loud vehicle going by. But it's like, in, and then if I double six, I get to 12, but I'm even further than that because I've actually got 14 here. There's like a missing number one or a missing number seven here. Um, and I'm not that worried about that. I'm kind of seeing like three times seven is 21. Uh, meshed together is three times two is six. Like it's, this is a leveling up on a next level. It's, um, it's like I'm finally accomplishing the thing. Um, and again, it's like it's like doing something that you've done before, but you're getting to the next level. All right, we've finished the basement now. I can start working on the main floor. There's a stable foundation finally for what's going to finally be something that you're winning at. So I'm going to leave that there for Gemini and uh, we'll get back to it fairly soon. Um, if you're looking for more information, you can check out the love reading that I did. It was a pick a pile earlier this month. If you're not looking for love relationship, then um, you can go back through the astrology playlist and uh, find something that looks like uh, looks like it's a little doggy that wants you to pick it from the window and maybe you'll get something else. Um, all right, so let me get the camera. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, um, comment, um, and I've got this crap out of the way. Um, social media, I've got card of the day in picture format. I've got merch and prints and uh, coloring books and stuff. If you found this helpful or useful or interesting in some way, please consider energy exchange, donation, and tip jar and uh, stay groovy and we'll see you later. Bye.